Kuwaiti women represent an important segment of society. Women of Kuwait were granted the right to vote in the National Assembly in May 2005. Kuwaiti women are another key player in the 2020 National Assembly elections as they account for most registered voters with 52% and can have a great impact on who wins a seat at the Assembly. We have more on the political role of the Kuwaiti women in the following report with Noor Karam. The state of Kuwait has given female citizens all their rights in voting and electing after a long journey in order to recognize their constitutional and political right. Kuwaiti women was able to prove, through a history full of achievements, her leading and active role in the development process witnessed by the country in various social, economic, political and other fields. She was able to achieve this success due to several factors, including the development of the legislative and social system, which allowed many Kuwaiti talents to occupy the highest positions locally and regionally. Kuwaiti women were not only concerned with their political rights, but exceeded this to spread awareness economically, culturally and socially. A good example of this was during the Iraqi invasion of Kuwait in 1990 and her resistance to the occupation when she stood side by side with the Kuwaiti men in defending their country. Competence of Kuwaiti women and their educational and cultural levels enabled them to win many leadership positions. She has become a minister, an undersecretary, a university rector, an ambassador and a director of large regional and international economic companies and were popularly elected to the National Assembly. The happy news for Kuwaiti women came in May 2005. The National Assembly granted them the right to enter parliament and to run in the parliamentary and municipal elections in the country, which is a qualitative leap in its history through which it launched into political life. Uh, it is indeed a very different kind of election this year, not only for the pandemic and for the fear of people going to the ballot boxes and voting, but also because the big number of women who have uh, uh, brought themselves forward and are candidates for uh, elections. So uh, I can say three things. Number one, be careful when you go, take precautions, make sure you wash your hands, make sure you, when, if there's a pen, you clean it before you use it and clean it after. Uh, make sure you have your mask on, which uh, legally you have to keep on. Uh, and you have to vote. No matter what happens, we have to vote. Because if we don't vote, we cannot complain after about what we don't like that is being that's happening. So for me, voting is a responsibility that gives me the, um, the ability later on to say I did well or I didn't do well, I voted for the right people, therefore they did the best decisions, or I voted for the wrong people, therefore next time I will make sure to vote for the better people. I know that uh, Kuwait Kuwaitis were given the right to vote in the 60s and women were given the right to vote in 2005. And uh, I'm proud to say that since 2005, I've been voting at every single election. Armed with hope, today Kuwaiti women are running in the current National Assembly elections to improve their status after years of frustration that followed the great success of the 2009 elections. A record number of 33 women candidates out of 395 candidates are running for office in the National Assembly elections and competing for 50 parliamentary seats distributed across five constituencies. The female candidates are distributed by 11 in the first constituency, 6 in the second, 11 in the third, and 5 in the fifth, while the fourth district was devoid of any female presence. According to the last census, women's votes constitute about 52% of the total number of voters in the country, about 5,074 male and female voters. We all have a right and we have to use that right to elect the right candidate to represent us in the parliament. If I can ask everyone watching, please go and elect. Not even please, you have a duty to go and elect because they are your voice. When we lose our voice, 
or we lose our right to voice something. We've lost a lot, so please go and vote. That is your right, that is your responsibility.